Can you marry a donut? Put a ring on it. <laughs> yes. I would marry this. <gasps> he dropped it. <laughs> Today is all about my favorite food group, which is donuts. We're gonna make some cider donuts today. We'll keep a little bit of their old fashioned appeal, but add a fresh modern twist to them. You ready? I'm ready to do donuts. Let's do it. Essentially what we're doing today is we're making a homemade apple sauce that we're gonna bake into the donuts. The kind of apple you wanna use for this is something pretty soft with a nice creamy interior. We've got a nice striated skin, which we're actually gonna keep on. The skin packs a good amount of fiber. I've never been a donut I didn't like. Normally with cider, donuts they do a cinnamon sugar topping on them we're gonna switch it up today and do a maple tahini glaze on them tahini super versatile ingredient great flavor booster it's basically like peanut butter with a passport all right are you out of here yeah. let's go make some donuts we're starting off with making our own applesauce to bake into these donuts here I've got some Fuji apples you could use Cortland or Macintosh whatever you find at your farmers market over here I've got a scale that I've zeroed out so we're just gonna start adding our apples to the bowl until it measures are seven ounces. Got six and a half. Okay, perfect. Seven. We are going to combine our chopped apple with our unfiltered apple cider. During season, you can normally pick this up at your local farmers markets or find it in your grocery store. But fresh apple cider, you really can beat it. Our apples have been boiling for about 12 minutes. We boiled them with the cover on for 10, cover off for two. While the apples are chilling out, we're gonna go get started on the dry ingredients. We're starting off with some whole wheat pastry flour. This has a lower protein content than regular whole wheat flour, so it's gonna yield a lighter texture and a more tender crumb in our donut and really give it that fluffy, airy kind of texture. We've got some baking powder and baking soda, and any cider donut needs a little bit of cinnamon for that warm autumn spice. So we've got some ground cinnamon right here and a little bit of salt. And we're just gonna give this a whisk, and then we'll hop over and start the wet ingredients. We've let the apples cool for a minute. We're going to transfer them to this blender. You were an applesauce guy? No, I hate applesauce. Just baby food. That's baby food? Yes. <laughs> okay, so this is pureed really nicely. It's super smooth. We're gonna transfer this to a bowl and then we'll mix this with the rest of our wet ingredients. We've got one whole egg, white granulated sugar, Whisk that in. Whole milk Greek yogurt, this is gonna pump up the protein of our donuts while also amping up the moisture of them. Greek yogurt is one of the best secret ingredients in baked goods. And we've just got a couple tablespoons of canola oil. Now we'll go ahead and combine our wet ingredients in with our flour mixture. And we'll whisk this until it's just combined. Are you a cake donut guy or a yeast donut guy? Which way does Krispy Kreme do it? They do yeast donuts. Definitely on board with the yeast. It is assemble time. We've got two six cavity donut pans here. You can buy these off Amazon, they're super cheap. And we're just gonna give these a light spray of cooking spray. And my trick for this, you could put this in a piping bag, It'd be super easy, but what I like to do is just use a teaspoon and give that a light little spray and then just collect little bits of the dough and just slide them right into the donut cavities. Are we making a dozen? We're making a dozen, so I get 11 and you get one. <laughs> Thanks for playing. What I like to do when all the filling is in is just coat my hands with a little bit of cooking spray and then just go around and give them a little pat down. So we filled up our donut tins. We're gonna pop these in the oven for about 12 minutes and then we'll get working on our glaze. So we've got some tahini here, which is sesame seed paste. It has a really nutty flavor and it's gonna really amp up the depth of the donuts. And we're gonna sweeten this out with some maple syrup. This is gonna add all those delicious autumn flavors that you crave this time of year. And then just to thin it out a little bit more so that it drapes over the donuts, we're gonna add a little bit of water. Just add it in about one to two teaspoon increments until it thins out just enough. All right, and that's it, that part's done. So we just gotta wait for our donuts, then we'll glaze them up, and then we'll get down. Yeah. Down with some donuts. Look at these dream boats. That looks good, Jamie. Moment of truth, our donuts are going her swim in the glaze pool. Just gonna dunk them right on into the glaze and let that delicious maple tahini concoction just drape over them like a dream. Look at this squad. Look how proud they look. You wanna give them a try? Cheers. Oh wow. Jamie, is it good? Still eating. 
Yeah, they're great. Yeah, they're good. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you add this recipe to your fall bucket list this season. And also make sure you subscribe to our page, The New Healthy with Jamie. Follow us along, comment on this video and let us know what you want to see us make next time. And we'll see you in the next video.